I'm gonna have to narrate this trip because so much happened in such a small span of time and I vlog so much, but I never vlogged me in downtime. So I literally just vlogged me going out and partying. And who wants to see 20 minutes of me just partying? I do, but I need to narrate just so we understand what's happening and I can talk a little bit about the trip. Kind of like that I'm doing this now that I'm home because I don't know, I've just had time. I've just had time to marinate, okay? And remember everything. Because right when I got home, so much happened. I just was like, where am I? What day is it? Is it still 2023? I had to get myself together. But I'm together. It's like, a, it's y'all, it's a week later. Maybe two weeks later. I don't even know. Let's talk about the trip. Night one, we all fly to Cabo together. We meet at the airport. We get matching sweatshirts, which are so cute. And then we fly to Cabo. If you guys didn't know, Cabo is like an hour and a half away. It's so close to LA. It is our paradise away from home. Um, it's one of my favorite places in the world, actually. So I was so excited when Karen told me we we're doing Cabo. Hey, 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 we're gonna have to go, right? Once a year, every year. Okay, good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Always one of my favorite places in the whole wide world. Yes. Plus, it's so nice. easy to get to. It is. We're so lucky. I know. We're gonna have so much fun. We are. Stay tuned. Watch this be the only thing I vlog for the whole what? day. I was like, well, that was it. That was okay. my combo vlog. Not a <laughs> Interception. What is it called? Inception. Yeah. <laughs> We got to the airport. One tradition I have, and I think everybody has, whenever you arrive at the Cabo airport, there's literally bars outside the airport and you just drink. We got all the girls together, but the first agenda is to get a shot at the airport bar. Look at all of us in our cute matching outfits. Yes, queen. And then we headed to the house. They had gotten us this massive, gorgeous, gorgeous mansion. This is what we're here, right here. Yeah, exactly. right here, Miss Ma'am. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Already cut limes. This is my dream. <laughs> I had like different rooms in different areas. My roommate was Valeria Val. Um, I love this bitch to death. We've been friends for I think three years now. We all just hung out that day, had a few drinks, went and got ready for our matching pajamas night, which they gave us these matching pajamas, which were so cute. And then they gave us goodie bags that were just filled with like everything in the world. Skims dresses and makeup and skincare and Lancome and Charlotte Tilbury. Like it was crazy. I was like, Karen, is this a brand trip, girl? Cause you're swollen and the girlies. And I thought it was so cute. Her and LA did like above and beyond excellent job on this trip. We all hung out and gave raunchy gifts to Karen and she had a guest who gave her the gift and then she had to take a shot. I think that's how it went. I remember this was so far out into the trip. This is so early on for me, okay? I can't remember everything. And then we drank and then everybody went to bed pretty early because we knew, we knew this trip was gonna be a lot of rallying. We knew we had to get it together, okay? Second day, we wake up, we have a gorgeous, gorgeous breakfast and what was cool is we had to lounge around the house, which I feel like any trip it's like, go, go, go. So I. Just just love that so much. Good morning vlog. It is day one, although we got here yesterday. This is like our official day one. Today we just wanted to chill and hang out in our PJs. It's very windy today, as you can see. But I'm outside of our gorgeous house. Look at the view. It's so pretty. This house is absolutely stunning. Really pretty that way too. And we are gonna chill and then get ready to go on the boat. We're going out tonight as the official night one going out. So I am so excited. So excited. I'm gonna have to put this hair up. I think that's smooth. I think this view is just stunning. So stunning. Look at that. Wow. Imagine I drop my phone down there. It's over for me. I'm going home after that. <laughs> it looks cold, but it's really warm today. So it's supposed to be like 90 degrees today. We got ready for an afternoon yacht ride. <laughs> we got real silly on that yacht, y'all. Okay, so it started out, we all got our content. Everybody's like, get your content, get your content so we can act 
up. So everybody went around the boat. We got all the content for all the girlies. And I love it because every single one of us on that trip is a content girly. And no matter where you are, who you are, someone's taking your picture and you get all your content. And then we had a shared album where we would just drop every single thing that we took from the day so everybody could have everything. It's genius. Do it on your next girls trip. Um, and that's how we got so much content though. Hey, so thank you guys for like coming oh to my all God. Of oh my God. We love you guys so much. We love you. Guys. So good. Oh, so sick. So silly, we made each of us line up and give Karen a lap dance. I don't know, we were being ridiculous. I don't even know how they're driving the yacht at this point. At one point, I think I was driving the yacht. Spooked, guys, we were lit AF on that yacht. My favorite thing about this group is like every single girl gets down. Okay, no girl left out. Like every girl gets down and I'm all about that. So then we actually went back to the house, had dinner, got ready, and then went out that night. In my normal life, I would never do something like that because that's way too much for me. Whenever you have the energy and you bought the outfits and you're drinking and you're having fun, I'm like so ready to get ready and go out. So I was so excited for this night. I am trying to remember what we did. <laughs> I think we just went out. I think we just went straight to the club from the house. To be honest, it's all a blur. This night was really fun. We just went to this crazy club, we danced, and honestly, we didn't even get back that late. I probably went to bed at like 3 a.m. So then the next night, would say, I would say this is the funnest day. We started the day very, very chill because we stayed out the night before. We started with tequila tasting, and he, it was pretty cool. He like gave us all these facts about tequila, and we got to try a, a tons of different tequilas. And if you guys didn't know, tequila is actually my favorite liquor. It's actually the only liquor I, I drink, I think, other than beer. I was like, as we as he kept pouring us shots, I said, sir, you know, like how many shots are we talking? In here like how many we're gonna try because i'm gonna need to know how invested i am in this it was eight and whenever he says eight we like spit out our drink we're like what the fuck? he was like i can give you guys a cup and you can taste it and then dump the whole shot in and so we were like fabulous because we wanted to make it to going out and if we each took eight shots ain't nobody going nowhere where's tequila tasting today guys um it's eight different tequilas so there's a cup to dump it in whenever you're done tasting it because I'm not mentally well to drink eight shots this morning, but. So look at our view. I'm talking about the girls, not the mountains. You're not allowed to have blue drinks. You are not allowed to have those. You are not allowed for those. You know what? We took her to a bar one night and she drank five of these. Laura, you didn't get a shot. Can we get a bottle the entire trip? Yes, please. to this crazy fun restaurant can't remember the name of it maybe someone can comment the name of it it's a really popular one in Cabo where the restaurant's like a club but the thing is, oh by the way this was our sparkly night so I am like sparkled the house down boots okay like I wore this dress that I didn't even think was that cute on me and I've had it for two years and I bought it it was like $200 from Meshki I'll link it down below and it was my favorite outfit that I wore and the way it photographed was just so pretty. I was like, wasn't even ready for the dress. The dress wore me. I didn't even wear this dress. Give me sex. Give me sex. Give me sex. Laura, why are you? This I'm sorry, but we're going to viral. We're going viral. Work it up. Work it early. And then I'll go and then we'll go together. <gasps> Laura, Lee, wait, wait, no, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Turn around. Turn around. Oh. You see how this dress? Laura Lee, I'm deceased. Just turn a little bit that way. You could even come up a little bit. It's sparkling. How do you know? A little bit this way. There you go. We're in the middle now. G give me a back moment. Laura, you look unreal. Hey, hey. Throw that ass in the turkey. Throw that ass in the turkey. <laughs> You're wild tonight. I'm wild tonight. Your turn. Bitch. Not the top. The top's on fire. But your dress, it was like this. <laughs> she better work. She better work them she sparkles. Work. Am I in the middle? You're dead in the center right now. Gorgeous. The sunset, everything. Can you, like, yep, movement, and it makes it sparkle. Yes, just like that. Just like that. Oh, she's tan. All right, come with me. Um. You gotta shake it out. Darling. Not the reverse. <laughs> wow. It's that reverse. 
Hey, that was like definitely my favorite outfit of the trip. I can't wait to do one. Oh my god, I got to do one. Oh, okay. We flipped that restaurant upside down. I honestly don't even know how they didn't kick us out of there. already like a club restaurant when they do a fireworks show like it's wild in there we were so lit <laughs> the girls went wild this is the place wherever i went to the bathroom there there was only three stalls and this is like the biggest restaurant ever there's only three stalls okay and i was like oh i was like second to go there's one girl in front of me and this girl runs up and she's like can i please cut i need to throw up and all the girl i was gonna be like yeah sure like because i didn't even have to pee that bad we just used the buddy system where if somebody goes to the bathroom, the rule is someone else has to go with you, um, which is a great rule. All girls trips to have, should have no matter where you go. Um, all the girls went, uh-uh, use the trash can, use the sink. They were all like, no. I was like, oh my God, this poor girl. But she ran to the trash can and was like trying to make herself throw up. And I was like, oh my God. I was just like, mm, we are in Cabo, baby. This is, it's giving Cabo. So after that, we go straight to the club. <laughs> That was a very fun night for me. I don't remember everything, but I do have a picture memory trail to get into um, to figure out what happened. But apparently I was barefooted, which this is an Alabama thing about me. If I get turned enough and my feet hurt, I'll take my shoes off no matter where I am. I saw this TikTok the other day. It was like a TikTok, the girl's like, being raised in the South didn't affect me. And then it cuts to her walking across the pavement barefooted. And so I was definitely barefooted at one point in that club. My feet were black whenever I got home. And I remember getting home and just washing my face and I looked at Val and I was like, I have to wash my feet. And I literally got in the bathtub and was scrubbing my feet before I got in the bed. Everybody was at a 20. We were supposed to be at a 10, we were at a 20. A twerking contest was won from one of the girls in the group. I almost flipped over the barricade poles screaming for her. Cause I was like, she's gonna, I, we're gonna make her win. And she did though, she turned it out. Let's go! How do I get in line, How? Okay, then on the last day, Officially the last day and we're supposed to wear a pop of orange. I just got ready and I'm just sitting out here editing some pictures and making some posts. Last night, I have no words for last night because we did a little pool day where it was like cloud nine theme. We all wore baby blue swimsuits and it was really cute. And then we went out to this restaurant that kind of turns into a club. We kind of turned it into the club, but we went out to the club after that. And it was so much fun, y'all. We got so rowdy. I ripped my dress in half dancing. And then we came back here and went to sleep. And yeah, it's like noon. So we are finally moving today. I'm gonna recover from all this whenever I get home. <laughs> Maybe I should have filmed this sooner because I'm like, do I remember everything? I definitely don't. But on the last day, we went to this like beach club where it's like a restaurant on the beach. It was super cute, super vibey. We were at this point surviving. One thing though, I feel like if you don't drink as many mixed drinks and you just drink straight tequila, like the shots without the sugar and all the mixers, you really don't get that bad of a hangover. And so I really wasn't even hungover on this trip, which is crazy. I also chased it with water and I drank water in between my drinking. I mean, if you take another shot, you'll get there. Oh, so we went to the day club. We got turned there again. One more time. up in the 
ocean, which they kept going, get out of the ocean, you're gonna die. But I'm a water baby, so I just had to get my toes wet. And my Florida girl, also Val's from Florida, and I'm from Alabama. Val is just so down to earth about everything. One time me and Val were on a lake in Arizona and the boat broke down and we got stuck in the middle of the lake and the boat got stuck and it was going in circles for like 30 minutes. And me and Val jumped out and swam to an island and we brought a bunch of beer with us whenever we jumped out. So we had little boogie boards, we put all the beer in and me and her swam to an island and just sat on this island drinking beer and had the best time. And I'm like, that's just a Southern girl. You're not gonna cry about it. You're not gonna make a big deal about it. You're not gonna say your day is ruined. You just keep on keeping on. And like Val is very, very that and down to earth. And that's why me and her get along so much, so well. I just went on a Val tangent. I just went on like a Southern girl tangent. I don't even know. So we went to the beach club, got our toes wet. <laughs> Trip, like dead ass. I think everybody was crashing. I was crashing. I was like, oh, I know I'm gonna be so tired when I get home. Like it started creeping out. I was like, I know, I, I know when I get home, I'm done for. Like I'm gonna be so tired, exuding all this energy, energy for so long, for so many days, and drinking and partying and all that. So I'm tired. We went to one of my favorite restaurants in Cabo. It's like on a cliff. It's so bougie and luxe. Can't even remember the name of it. That was my fourth time going and I still can't tell you the name of it. But, but you know what? I'll figure it out and put it on the screen. Such a bougie, luxe, insane restaurant. And so we ate there. I was so excited whenever the bus pulled up. Cause I was like, oh my God, it's my favorite restaurant. But it's so fancy. Like girl, you try to turn up in there. They're gonna be like, get the f out. We behaved ourselves. We had a lovely, gorgeous last dinner. And then we all voted to go back to the house and kiki and hang out together. And I actually booked my flight early home. Cause you know, you know me, like my, my travel rule. I like to come home. I'm always ready to come home back. I was like, y'all can go home Monday afternoon. I'm gonna go ahead and get booked the first flight out of Cabo to LA for Monday. And so I was waking up, zipping my bags and Val looked at me. She was like, oh, you're leaving this morning. And I was like, I am. I was like me and Jasmine and other girls like we're leaving early. And uh, she was like, I'm gonna go ahead and book a flight and come home with you. <laughs> She's so tired, but it was such a fun trip. I'm so happy for Karen and Sebastian. I can't wait for their wedding. I love all the girlies on the trip. I had a great time. I love to have a good time. What I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna sit my butt at home for the month of June, besides LA Pride, but I'm gonna stay home. I think I'm gonna try to stay home in June and behave myself and get back to work. I have so much to catch up on. Um, I actually just finished filming a YouTube video. My room's the best, but that's the tea on me. That's just the tea on me, that's the tea on the trip. That's all I remember happening. Um, I just remember having a good time and that's what it's all about. Thank you guys for being here and watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.